Hey, this is Crispy Nose. Let's check out the Lussie Rugged SSD Pro 1TB Thunderbolt 3 external storage drive for my M1 Mac Mini. When I bought the new M1 Mac Mini, I chose to spend the extra bucks on a 16GB memory upgrade and sticking with the minimum internal storage of 256GB. The hope was that I can buy an external and portable storage for a smaller price tag and this is where the Lasse drive comes in. Let's unbox it, connect it to my Mac Mini and see if it's fast enough. As you can see, this drive has a small form factor that can easily fit within your jean pocket. It has a liquid silicon outer bumper with an aluminium enclosure on the inside and these combined together draws the heat away from the SSD for optimal performance. The drive is also waterproof and can sustain 30 minutes at 1 meter depth. This is all cool and all, but the main reason why I bought this drive is for the speed and that comes from two key features. First, it's an NVMe SSD drive which is a faster alternative to the SATA interface. Second, it offers a Thunderbolt 3 connection as opposed to a USB 3 connection. These two features combined allows the drive to boast a very impressive official rated speed of 2800 megabytes per second. Let's get this plugged in into my Mac Mini. The new M1 Mac Mini offers two Thunderbolt 3 ports and one HDMI 2.0 port. I have a dual display setup where I have plugged in my primary monitor via the Thunderbolt 3 port and my second monitor via the HDMI 2.0 port leaving me with one Thunderbolt 3 port to connect this SSD drive. The Mac Mini recognizes this drive instantly. The drive comes with a warranty dock, which is a 5-year limited warranty by the way, and a getting started app to register the product and install some backup and security software. Let's do this later and jump straight to the speed test. For the speed test, I'm going to use the Disk Speed Test by Blackmagic that is available for free from the Maxter. Let's first run the speed test on the built-in internal storage drive a bunch of times to get a baseline. Wow, that's blazing fast with an average write speed of about 2300 megabytes per second and an average read speed of about 2800 megabytes per second. Let's now see how the Lassie Rugged SSD Pro Drive compares. Like before, let's run the speed test a bunch of times to get a measurement. I would say that's placing fast too, with an average write speed of about 1400 megabytes per second and an average read speed of about 2700 megabytes per second. Almost matching the Mac Mini's built-in storage read speed and a pretty good write speed, especially when you compare with the other USB 3 external SSD hard drives. Like the super popular Samsung T5 with a rated read speed of 540 megabytes per second or the newer Samsung T7 with a rated read speed of 1050 megabytes per second. Of course, the Lassie Rugged SSD Pro is much more expensive than these USB 3.0 SSD drives, but the real price comparison for me is to see if this Lassie SSD Pro external drive option is cheaper compared to the extra built-in storage you can add at the time of the M1 Mac Mini purchase. It will cost you an extra 400 British pounds to increase the total built-in storage of the M1 Mac Mini to 1 terabyte. In my case, I've spent 380 British pounds to increase my total storage to 1.25 terabyte, with the added advantage of the portability and reusability of an external hard drive. Looks like we have a winner here. Here is one final point I want to make. I ran out of my 256 GB built-in storage in my Mac Mini in less than 20 days of the purchase. In fact, I recently published a video where I analyzed my storage needs. Click on the notification about or find the link in the description of this video. One of the main culprits that ate up my storage was my iMovie library. No surprise. So the primary reason I bought this super fast external SSD drive is to move my iMovie library off my built-in storage and work directly off my external storage. 
Let's see this in action. Let's open the iMovie library located in the Lassie SSD Pro external drive. As you can see, it loads the library instantaneously. Now let's create a new iMovie project. Now let's import about 1.5 GB of video from my built-in storage into this project that's located on the Lassie SSD drive. As you can see, it takes about 10 seconds to import these files and now we're good to go. Let's go ahead and delete those videos from my built-in storage and work directly off my Lassie SSD drive. As you can see, everything works seamlessly. And in fact, I edited this video you're watching now directly off my Lassie SSD Pro and have no complaints. That's it folks. To conclude, if you're looking for a cheaper option to adding more storage to your M1 Mac Mini, but still want those blazing fast speeds to work directly off your external storage, then the Lassie Rugged SSD Pro with the Thunderbolt 3 connection is a pretty good bet. Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video useful, please do hit the like button. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm to recommend this video to others like you. And do subscribe to this channel if you want to get notified of my future videos.